Hi, this is Greg Velzi with the Chesterfield County Parks and Recreation Outdoor Adventure Programs. Here today to talk about river safety. Specifically today, I want to discuss low head dams where the water flows over the top of the dams and the hydraulics that are formed leading to drownings. I'm at Z Dam on the James River, just up from the Pony Pasture. It got its name by the Z shape, the zigzag shape as it goes across the river. This is what's known as a low head dam. Today's river level is seven feet on the gauge that we use here locally. You can find that just by Googling James River water level in Richmond. What's specific about the river level is knowing is it really high, is it really low, or is it just right to create this hydraulic which is known as a drowning machine. The danger here is the water flows over the dam, creates a depression, and then the water downstream rushes back up to fill that depression. It creates a dangerous regular hydraulic. We call these drowning machines because there's really no break all the way across, and so if a person or object gets caught in it, it gets stuck in there and just stays there going round and round, and there really is no escape. Unfortunately, there have been 21 deaths at this one particular area. People just thought, oh, it's only about a one foot drop, so I can go over it. But unfortunately, they get caught in that hydraulic, and again, there is no escape from that. What this leads to is the discussion about knowing the various river levels when you go out and where you're going. There are a few of these low head dams in the area. There's this one, the Z Dam. Upstream from here, you have Bosher's Dam. It's in between here and Rubius Landing. And then on the Appomattox River in southern Chesterfield, you have some low head dams. So unless you're very experienced with what's going on, understand these are called drowning machines for a reason because there are no ways to get out of it. So you can learn about this and more features of river safety and currents through the Chesterfield County Parks and Recreation water programs. Kayaking both on flat water and into mild white water and talking about the various currents. Thanks so much. Be safe out there.